It's actually, actually pretty good. Between two ferns? So, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to use this, even though I've, I've got, just in case, Guys, in case you don't like this, I got a backup. So we'll, we'll put this aside. And, um, when Chris asked me about a week ago to, a month ago, a month ago, when Chris, met, when Chris met with me one week ago, finally, to sit down and talk about this surprise renewal of vows, I said, are you sure that this is a good idea? And he goes, oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Terrible idea. It's not even his idea. It's God's idea. God created this idea, crafted this idea, wrapped it up in a neat little package in a bow, and shoehorned it into Chris's head. And Trevor co-signed it. Trevor <laughs> sponsored this bill. He's and that, God and thing, that is how an idea becomes a law. You gotta Chris's pay for the venue too. Two there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> so um, when Chris asked me to do this, I said to him, uh, all right, I'll do this, but you've got to shave that beard off. No. And, <laughs> and, that's, and he goes, no. So I go, okay, you gotta shave off the mustache. He goes, no. I said, well, how about you just give me mutton chops? And he goes, no. I said, you're not even attached to it other than it grows out of your face. You don't care about it. He goes, no, she does. And I realized at that point that I did a pretty good thing 10 years ago when I married the two of you together. But then, then I, I, I just appeared here at this party today and I'm greeted by ostensibly who I believed to be your husband. And I see, take a look, look at that, look at that face, that beautiful shaven, <laughs> face, angelic, perfect in every way, a paragon of perfection. I said, oh, Chris, you did it! But it wasn't Chris. And he goes, he nods his head and he chuckles, he plays along with me for a few minutes. And, still works. and I'm like, Chris, you get more handsome? And, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then he spoke and as soon as he opened his mouth, you hear you Nick's it. voice and you're like, oh. Uh, yeah. So I go, Nick, great. Okay, it's Nick. So anyhow, here I am, sitting down with Chris in my uh, in my dining room at my table. My kids are there pastoring me, and I said, "Where does Lisa think you are right now?" And he said to me, "Fixing my toilet." And I said, "This is going to be the longest fixing of a toilet you've ever had as an appointment." And he said, "That that's okay," because she knows it takes me a long time to fix the toilets. So I was going to tell this wedding that Schofields take Seymour, and I wanted to figure out a way to still fit that in here somewhere, but um, you know I think I just did. Now I've decided that since you weren't there for my interview, that this oh. is going to be our interview. Oh. This is it. This is the wedding. We're sitting down. We're here. We're having coffee talk. You know, condiments and neither condoms nor mints. Discuss. So I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that Chris said, because I thought this was very interesting. Okay. Um, and he does expect you to tear up. So far, I don't, yeah, no, no, okay, no yeah. tears yet. The cord of three strands. Tell, tell me about the cord of three strands again. It's um, louder so it's they can a, all it's hear. It's in the you're, Old you're Testament. On... It's, it's, it, was a, it was a small piece of scripture that read, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. broken. And it's, its idea is that the two with the centerpiece being our Father in Heaven, who binds things together, um, creates what, what man would make, what makes what man can make divine and more. And it, it elevates it to something we cannot. I liked that. I thought that was nice. Have you ever looked at your marriage as a quarter three strands before? I've looked at it as God has been his only saving grace so far, yes. Wow, <laughs> nice. Just Very good. Up in a quarter three strands. So, <laughs> so um, basically the plan here is, you know, I'm doing my little shtick mm -hmm. and then Auntie Jane is uh, grabbing the kids and then there's something called brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> something, something, do you know? I don't know what he means. He said, he tried to explain to me this whole brown chicken, brown cow thing, and I didn't know what he was talking about, so I wrote it down. He said, send the kids home and brown chicken, brown cow. 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 I see. Mm. Got it. So, um. Now I might start crying. <laughs> is that out of, uh, frustration? Okay. So, um. <coughs> Where was I? Brown chicken, brown cow. Ah! So I said to Chris, I said, what, what brought this to the forefront? You know, I know 10 years, so it's, it's a lot of time. I said, uh, why do you want to do this? And he said, well, 
he thinks you deserve another really amazing memory because he's tortured you over the last 10 years with uh -huh. so many other memories. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I said, well, maybe we should get you married for every time you almost had some sort of disastrous catastrophe, like when a 40-ton tree falls on you. There's a lot of trees around you know. here right now, too. Chris, right? go that way. So, you to ask Nick to have him and, that. and I said to him, I said, we're all going to go together. He starts telling me about the plan about getting you out here and all of these different variables. And my kids are looking at me. Zohar and Asher both look at me and they say, does he realize how many variables can go wrong? And, and to be fair, my kids do help me strategize about some of my best trials and, and work. And they say, there are too many elements here, Daddy. I said, I know that. Don't tell Uncle Chris. He thinks this is going to go perfect. So I said, what do you think could go wrong? He goes, well, if it rains, we'll be inside. And here we are. We actually are here. And it's not raining. Everything went perfectly. You were right. The quarter of three strands it's is not my idea. It's powerful. It was our it's idea, a thing. if you recall. So tell me, after 10 years, mm -hmm. what's gotten better? Aunt Jane. His facial hair. Aunt Jane. Aunt Jane. His face, you didn't have the facial, facial hair 10 hair. years ago. He had those Not a lot. I looked at the video. I went back to the video. Mm -hmm. I watched it three times. It's good. It's good. What's the best thing over the last 10 years that you guys have accomplished? Our boys. Jackson and Jordan. Mm -hmm. The fish hooks. The fish J, hooks. J, J. Right, survival. This one can't die. Well, no, he's indestructible. <laughs> Not for lack of trying. He wears that Kryptonian <laughs> belt buckle and... Uh, it's like the Wolverine of plumbers. That's right. <laughs> the Wolverine of plumbers. I like that. Yeah. I was the actually, I was like actually going to go to my actor studio questions if this thing went really sideways. And I was going to ask idea. you, what Deadpool other profession plumbers. would you like to try if you weren't doing your own that profession? And now I'm beginning to think that's a, that's a wasted question on you because Wolverine of plumbers kind of, I think we should put that on the side of a, a van. And it I think we should, get hit by I think we should get run a van with plumbing anything on it anymore. You gotta Hashtag get Nick royalties. Hashtag Wolverine of plumbers. Are these superheroes enough? So, let's see. See, he didn't shave, but I'm still here. But I was, I was very impressed. He, he said there's nothing that he would ever do to make you unhappy, and he knows that if, he, if I harmed one hair on his beard, that would be very unhappy for you. Yeah. So I asked, I asked my kids, I said, uh, do you remember, uh, what do you notice different about Uncle Chris? I said, do you see all this gray? And Asher looks at me and Asher said something out of the mouths of babes. He says, I don't see any gray, Daddy. I see a hell of a lot of white, though. <laughs> Got it right, baby. He said that, not my words. Um, so what's changed in 10 years? My underwear. That's a good Thank start. God. That's a good start. Only once, though. <laughs> Thank God. I asked him if, if you guys were living the Kurt Cameron life. No. And that's, he said, no, we're the Al Bundys of Christianity. Yes. And I said, go Steelers. So I was going to try to get you a 67 Chevelle for the wedding. It's going to be parked around the side. And uh, I, had all, I had all of these plans. But uh, like I said, he only sat down with me five days ago or so. So instead, I have these questions. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if there's any questions left from James Lipton's actor studio that I, I need to ask you. Is this a vow renewal or an interrogation? <laughs> Was there really that big a difference no. when I'm in charge? No. All right. Uh, what sound do you love? What sound? Yeah. Dead quiet. How about you? What sound do you love? Three hundred eight. Nice. And what sound do you hate? Oh God. <coughs> Muscle cars. The great. kids screaming. Gotcha. What profession, <laughs> what profession would you not like to do? And what profession would you not like to do? Plumbing. Fair enough. All right. And tree what profession? Tree trimming. Tree trimming, yeah. Other than just, yeah. And if heaven exists, we know heaven exists. Yes, it does. What do you want to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Well done, good and faithful servant. That's actually what's written right here, in fact. Amen, amen. amen, amen. All right. So now, uh, before I forget, Chris has actually written oh, God. his vows. <laughs> so you, so everything didn't you know go what? perfectly because Chris didn't write. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly what I expected. But but why don't you uh, take it away, Chris? I, you're, you are correct. I wrote nothing. I wanted to come as prepared for this as my lovely wife was. I got I got cheat sheets if yeah. you need them. Oh, um, boy. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, there's a lot we weren't prepared for. 
a whole lot. We weren't. Pre- I don't think we were prepared 100% for all, all who we, who we were. Um, or, uh, of course, the other thing, so. Um, but I never, I, I felt like um, God had it in control. We both weren't agree with that. And you were, you were very much willing to be my wife despite all variables that could possibly have been considered. And you did that, um, reluctantly as it may have been. Mm-hmm. Um, you did that wholeheartedly, you did it without skipping a beat. You, uh, you did not fail or falter, you did not slow down, it, nothing hindered you. And, and I know God was with you and he was with us because of how, of how it's, it's this went. I mean, it didn't go smooth with regards to where some of the directions we went, but once we were on those paths, it was it was it was good. Having my kids see me every day, almost like without fail, um, over down the street, Lord Chamberlain, dealing with me. There's enough life's disappointments, enough we weren't prepared for you, and, and I know I'm I'm a hard hard. Uh, hard act to follow, so to speak, but you let me be me. You encourage me to be me. And um, I love you to die. You know? I don't, I don't, I don't oh, man, he know how to it. say all the right things, but I know you're the right thing. Oof. And oh. that's... That's good. That's gold. That's that's <laughs> enough. You know, that's enough. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I meant what I said years ago. I meant what I say all the time and we, and we kind of have a conversation or even a disagreement for that matter. You're my wife. I chose you. I choose you every day. I pray for against things that I don't, that I worry about for you and the kids. And um, I plan on coming home to you or staying home with you, or Rich or Janus, um, for the rest of for the rest of my uh, 116 years. I think we said 116 I years can't left. Can't do another 116. Okay. So now the studio mm-hmm. audience and everybody sitting at home watching this on television wants to know how do you respond and what would you like to say at this important juncture? You're going to put me on the spot. I mean, I could Ooh. make you guys stand back up and hold hands again if you like. If you want to do that. You are what I signed up for. I still sign up for it. I still do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Lines. Yeah, I mean, Lines. you know. Lines. All right, you know what? That's all I got. Okay, all right. Um, you why don't you guys stand up? I'm going to just put a nice little cap on this thing here. Why don't you hold hands like you did before? Because that was so nice. I like that. You got rings too? What? Oh, that's nice. All right. Just let me know when you want them. Uh, let's see. That's not what you think. <sighs> don't look at me. I have nothing to do with that aspect of this. Lisa. Would you repeat after me? Yes. These are the hands of my best friend. These are the hands of my best friend. Young and strong and full of love. Young and strong and full of love. And they are holding yours on our, this our wedding day. And they are holding mine on this our wedding day. As we promise to love each other tomorrow and forever. As we promise to love each other tomorrow and forever. And these are the hands that have worked alongside yours and will work alongside yours together as we continue That's to build our future. Sense. You can paraphrase. Yeah. It's okay. Just hold my hand. <laughs> All right, Chris, you repeat after me. These are the hands that have passionately loved and cherished me through the years. These are the hands that have passionately loved and cherished me through the years. And with the slightest touch have comforted me like no other. And with the slightest touch comforted me like no other. These are the hands that have helped me when I've been in fear or in grief and it temporarily comes to you. These are the hands that have held me in fear or in grief and when it temporarily comes to you. These are the hands that have countless wiped away the tears from your eyes, the tears of sorrow and of joy. These are the hands that have countlessly wiped away the tears from your eyes and of sorrow and joy. And these are the hands that will give you strength when you need it, support and encouragement to pursue your dreams and comfort through difficult times. Don't worry, you don't have to repeat that. All right. Oh, my Lastly, my friends, you're both holding the hands of the person who that even when you're even more wrinkled and even more old and aged, you'll still be reaching for each other, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. So, uh, why don't you 
produce those rings. Yep. Oh, See my the sunglasses? Goodness. Nice. That's no accident. Okay. Now, let's see. Which one's yours? Okay. You ready? Now, do I put arm first or dealer first? Points. Dealer's choice. Wing it. Give Go me ahead. Give me your finger. This probably may be a size too big. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the man of steel. I get it. All right. Now, uh, repeat after me. I, like I, like I give you this ring forged in the fires of Krypton. I give you this ring forged in the fires of a Krypton in China. As a daily reminder of my love for you. As a daily reminder of my love for you. I vow to continue honoring and respecting you. I vow to continue honoring and respecting you. Wait for the you know, I'm you, waiting. Go ahead, go ahead, do it, do it. For all that you are and all that you will become. For all that you are and all that you will become. Taking pride in who we are both separately and together. Taking pride in who we are both separately and together. I will continue to work to create a bond of trust and love and honesty. to work to create a bond of love and trust and honesty. One that withstands the tides of time and change One and grows with us. One that withstands the tides of time and change and grows with us. As it already has for the last 10 years. As it already has for the last... No, no, don't repeat that. Stop that. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Lisa, don't repeat that. Stop that. <laughs> All right. I got something better for you. Don't worry about this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go to Sanskrit because I know he doesn't know Sanskrit. All right, but I have already translated. Um, let us take this step, let us take this step to, acquire knowledge, to acquire knowledge, happiness, happiness and, harmony and harmony by mutual love and trust. Mutual love and trust. Finally, let us take this step, Finally, let us take this and, step. Become and become true companions and remain lifelong partners by this wedlock. This I didn't write that. That's about five thousand years old. That's five. That that little that little coda. That that little quatrain there. That was five thousand years. That's Sanskrit. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, now the bonds that this couple has taken ten years ago and has taken yet again today is unbreakable. It will be tested and has been tested by so much different types of strife. I can't even begin to enumerate and come up with the ideas. Forty ton trees. I just would never have imagined this. But. Will you, as their family and their community of friends, continue to protect them with your love and your trust and your respect? Uh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Meh. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, it's not the same resounding yes yeah. I got 10 years ago from you people. So, you know, yes, sir. It, it's close enough. It's close enough. Folks, I love you guys. I love you. You've learned the lesson that everybody fights and struggles for their entire lives, that, that the only thing that matters are the emotions and the memories that you've packed here inside your heart and your soul. And, and as long as you've made those memories and, and those devotions about each other and your children and about God, then the house that you've created together will continue to be a beautiful and happy home. And, and for this, I'm grateful. And, and I, I feel blessed to know both of you. So, by the power of your love and commitment, and the power vested in me by the state of Connecticut. 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 <laughs> As Judge Max L. Judge. Rosenberg. There you go. He Thank you very Judge much. Now. Real deal. I now pronounce you again, Mr. and Mrs. Schofield. You may kiss your husband. Now, I'm not done yet because I didn't feel like you'd gotten quite enough Rosenberg craziness for the day. and and. He did, he did hire me for the day, so hold on while I see if this is going to work. Oops, that's not it. Oops, wrong one. Nope. You know what? I don't think I'm attached to the Bluetooth anymore, so you're going to have to listen closely. Can you all hear this? You know this. It's a rare condition in this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition and its grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some special clue inside these special walls. Because all I see is a tower of dreams, real love bursting out of every seam. He's going We're gonna fill a house with happiness. Stays go by. We're 
are gonna smother doubt with tenderness as days go by. Well, there's room for you and room for me for gentle hearts and opportunity. As days go by, it's the bigger love of the Schofield family. <laughs> Good job, boy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Mazel tov. Come here. Woo! Come here. <laughs>